Hey little fellas. Just thought we'd take a peek at this little clutch. About three and a half weeks old is the oldest one. And the youngest guy is about two and, two and a half weeks old and they're really feathering up. Look at the tail color here. Turquoise over here. This is going to be kind of a, a, a lavender mauve color bird, I believe. <laughs> We've got the turquoise over here too. Yes, and if they turn around, this little fella here, the oldest, has a beautiful blue, powder blue, and I don't think this lighting is going to show it. Hey, baby, look how beautiful you are. Yeah, oh, look at him wing practicing. What a pretty boy, and his little crop is bulging because we just fed him. It's almost impossible to do a little video of them before they're fed because they're just hungry and really, I won't say screaming, <laughs> they're chirping. And then after they're fed, they want to get back into a little bundle like that when they're this young. Because it's just the natural thing they would do in their nest. Their nest isn't, you know, big like that. Their nest is a little a little box or wherever in the wild their mother would find a, uh, a hollow in a tree. So it's not a huge area. So it's very natural for them, them to want to squeeze back into a little pile. Hi. Yes. And after some feeds, they walk around more and explore. Sometimes they get a good, nice feed and they're just ready to have a little nap. They're starting to eat millet and pellets. Where's the pellets? Well, they're in a jar now. But these little... No, I start them on these... I'm not saying I think they're the very best. I'm not even saying I think pellets are that great, really. But I do feed them that and expose them to it because when they go to new owners, a lot of people have read that pellets are the best and so they want to use the best and they use pellets. For me, I'd rather see them eat a lot more natural things and there's nothing that resembles a pellet in nature, whereas that grows and that's exactly what it looks like when it grows in nature it's not cooked it's not dyed um, there's nothing no vitamins you know sprayed on it or anything that's that's what it is and I like to feed them a lot that way so vegetables fruits cut up small so they can handle it these guys are <laughs> I'm going to start them with some little broccoli flowerettes today because that's really easy to cut up into little tiny pieces for them to, to uh, you know, try. Um, yeah, so I, I, I do give them pellets because I know they're going to get that when they leave here. And I give them seed. I haven't even given them any just plain budgie seed yet because that's really easy for them to catch on to. So I like to get them caught on to some other things first. Some corn and broccoli and snow peas are usually the first things I try on budgies. Try a little different stuff sometimes on lovebirds because they can handle bigger things because they have bigger beaks. Oh, look at them. They're falling asleep. Oh, But yeah, a lot of fun. They're getting along great. Coming up, coming along. Yes. And they're starting to turn really pretty colors. And I'm just going to let them sleep. Good night, baby budgies.